done. Your daughter's in New Hampshire. Let's go travel. I'm a traveler now. Uh, you know, the idea was, you know, either she would stay home and, you know, for all I care, she doesn't have to work. You know, I'm making enough money right now that I could, it's messed up because we spent two years trying to get my divorce done with so we could, we could do this. And at the finish line, we both quit. And right now, instead of all this legal nonsense, we should have just gone to therapy, which actually, two weeks before we bro I broke up with her, she asked me one day at this restaurant if I would go to uh, couples counseling with her. And I said, yes, I have no problem with it. I want it, here's the thing, I know Susan, all this nonsense has happened, it's not her. And honestly, I feel stupid because I know that she's had sex with someone else, you know, not even a few days after I broke up with her. But I feel like it was something out of spite. And honestly, usually I would not go back to someone that, you know, but I feel like she's, we spent two years where I never had a connection with anybody like her. Even my first wife, I, my first wife and I were married for 10 years. We had an awesome marriage. The only reason she did what she did was I was deployed two and a half years and she couldn't take it anymore. And someone got her to cheat on me. And of course, here's the thing, the funny thing is, my first wife, after all she did, a year later, she apologized to me for what she did. We became friends. Who is she now? Uh, she's in Kentucky somewhere. She works Do for you Humana. Have with her? No, no, I don't have any kids. Uh, I mean, except for this kid in New Jersey now. That actually, hold on, let me make sure my, my is vibrating. But uh, anyways, um, you know, Susan and I had more connection than my first wife. I never thought I was going to have a connection with anybody like that. Sexually, intimately, personally, I would take a bullet for this woman even now, no matter what's happened. And I actually said to her mom uh, at one point, as this whole thing happened, that, you know, if for us to whatever, work out or go therapy, I'm still willing, even if, 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 if we stay just friends, mm -hmm. I'm willing to help her financially so she doesn't have so much stress, because a lot of her stress was financial. So does she knows that you're willing to do that? I hope she does. I, my lawyer... Why is she still trying to hurt you? I don't know, because my lawyer told me, I told my lawyer to please make an offer. She drops all this restraining order nonsense, and we could go to couples therapy, just like we talked. And me being a traveler, I would pay for everything, her college. She's going to school for her BSN. I, I will do anything for her. And right now, just the thought of not having her is killing me. Like, right now, if we had not broken up, if I had not broken up with her, you know, we would be probably, you know, we're coming from the hospital and talk to her on the phone. I've been going, trying to go home. I would be, well, I'm, I haven't been able to go home as, as I wish, but I would be going home every weekend to see her. So how do you know Susan hasn't forgiven you or changed her mind, you know? Have well, you to her lately? I can't because there's a restraining order. You know, as long as there's a restraining order, I can't contact you can't her. call her either? No, and even if she called me, I can't talk to her. So why is there a order? Because all you have to do is go to court and say that you're afraid of me. Yeah. You know, and here's the thing. You know, there's nothing, and this is where my lawyer said, you can sue her for this because all she's saying here is a lie. And we can actually, but here's the thing, more legal drama. And what would I get by driving her bankrupt? She's already, you know, barely making any money at the VA. Mm -hmm. I have a, you know, if, and she thought about quitting the VA and going back to her old job where we, where we met originally. 
but they won't hire her back. I know that, you know, I, she, she won't get hired there again. What I, kind of job is it? She was a nurse there, yeah. but, she's yeah, she's an RN. So both of you work in the hospital. That's how we met. And uh, really, I wish there was a way that we could sit down and talk mm-hmm. instead of hurting each other anymore legally or emotionally. At the end, that's a sensible thing to do. Uh, sometimes you, you might have to be the leader. But as long as there's a restraining order on me, I can't do anything. And my fear is by the time she realizes what's going on, it might be too late. Maybe she's been hurt already by her own daughter, you know? Mm-hmm. Or what, you know? What if her daughter brings drugs to the house and, and then they get arrested because of her daughter, you know? What if her daughter actually tries to kill her? Her daughter actually tried to kill me one time. I was asleep and someone actually stopped her. We had a teenager friend of the family watching her. That's when she was, uh, we, we took her to the, uh, the psych hospital. Uh, she actually had an episode where she, she tried to kill me because I was getting in the way of her doing whatever with this drug dealer. And, uh, and that's a very dangerous situation you're in. So how can you help Susan to see that she is, she needs to distance herself from her daughter? Isn't she already past 18? Yep. And the funny thing is... How, how old is the daughter? 18. Oh, she is 18. The thing is, this kid is in New Hampshire right now. Mm-hmm. But I have a feeling, you know, she's going to convince Susan to get her back in Kentucky. She was doing some crazy stuff. Her dad gave her a chance to go to New Hampshire. Within a month, he had to kick her out because she got involved with drugs again. You know, and Susan knows it. The problem with the, that scares me with Susan is out of her guilt, she's going to allow her daughter to... It's like out of guilt, she's going to allow her daughter to destroy her, you know? Where's the child's father? the daughter's father. The eighteen year olds, he lives in New Hampshire. Um, but this girl is just out of control and she's ruining everybody else's life. Yep. Originally the plan was Hannah's in New York in New Hampshire. Susan and I are gonna take care of us and her ten year old. Her ten year old and I had a bond that I it's it's like double pain because I lost the one I felt was my own child. I've already had the disappointment of Hannah that I tried to do everything for her and she still backstab everybody and she brought drug dealers to my house, you know? Put me in a bad situation with neighbors because my neighbors are cops, you know? And they would tell me, they would tell me, hey dude, you know, this is going on in your house and we don't want to go there. And that was your, your first wife's husband? No, no, the second one. Okay. And... and no, no, not Susan's. Susan is not your wife yet. No. You sure. Susan and I were supposed to get married, uh, you know, and I still have the ring. And something in the back of my mind keeps telling me, you know, she's going to wake up tomorrow, drop everything, and, and, you know, we will talk. But at the same time, I have a feeling that out of spite, she is going to get involved with someone else and get hurt again, 